Hello everyone. Welcome to Poesis e-learning and certification services. This is the first session in a new video series Internet of Intelligent Things. So let's get started. We have come a long way since the term Internet of Things, popularly known as IoT, was introduced by Kevin Eston. In 1999. He described IoT as a global network of things sharing the information available to them seamlessly without any human mediation. It seemed a dream two decades ago but has become a reality now. In this video series, we will explore current and future trends of this fascinating technology. One of those trends is a marriage of IoT and AI, artificial intelligence, giving rise to a new phenomena, Internet of Intelligent Things. Let us understand how the rise of IoT is influencing customer preferences. Customer preferences are constantly changing with the changing social, environmental, and economical scenario. This strain has greatly impacted the way products and services were created and delivered to end users. To understand this, let's look at new generation cars, television sets, wristwatches, and compare them with five year old products from the same manufacturer. Do you find any difference? Yes, you do. Right? There is one thing that is common to all of them. These products are increasingly becoming data driven. So, what is a data driven product or service? A data driven product and service delivery process makes automated predictive decisions to serve end users. These decisions are based on data collected from working environments and remote sources. Other processes involved are organization, processing, and analysis of collected data. These tasks are performed by advanced software applications and these software applications are empowered by data, the raw form of intelligence. Before we dive deeper to understand the role of data in empowering these advanced applications, let us first find out more about data and its sources. Data is defined as the values of attributes characterizing objects and events. I have three examples on my screen. Name, gender, weight, height, age. These are attributes of a person and their values is our data. Similarly, model, price, registration number, year of manufacturing, and color are attributes of this object, a car, and their values is our data. The third example is a smart home. Temperature, humidity, address, area are attributes and their values is our data. Similar to this, events are also sources of data. If you look at your environment, you find trillions of mundane objects and almost infinite number of events taking place there. These objects and events are potential sources of data. 
based on this examples we can say we live in an ocean of data and this data needs to be captured and converted into knowledge to be consumed by human and software applications to make informed decisions so when it comes to collection of data there are three key considerations that we need to take into account relevancy sufficiency and quality of data we will have an elaborative discussions on this points in the forthcoming sessions once you have data this needs to be converted into knowledge the process of converting collected data into knowledge is called knowledge discovery process then this knowledge is consumed by ai enabled applications to make automated decisions the knowledge discovery is a multi step process it involves selection pre processing transformation data mining and interpretation let us try to understand the role of this steps in the knowledge discovery process one by one starting from data one thing that you need to understand is that not all data collected from problem domain or working environment is useful for decision making so the first step is selection of a subset of data based on the requirement of decision making process this subset is called target data pre processing is required to clean the data to get rid of noise and inconsistencies hidden in it once pre processed data needs to be transformed into suitable format for further analysis transform data is mined to extract insights insights is defined as a collection of patterns interrelations and hidden trends extracted from data finally either human decision makers or software applications are used to interpret this insights to gain knowledge knowledge empowers decision making process and ability to consume knowledge to make right decisions is called intelligence intelligence is a desired property of new generation products services and systems so from the next session onwards we are going to learn how to build this new generation data driven products services and systems so stay tuned and stay in touch happy learning